Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we have a tutorial on the Fox News election night. So the election night we did before was the CNN election night. Um, as you can see, we replicated it um, in Keynote, and now we're going to replicate the Fox News. Um, too close to call, just called, or um, projection, I guess. Um, and the electoral map, and we're going to go, we're going to start off with the just called. So first of all, we're going to copy and paste this over so we can watch it. Um, this is one of the older things that I've done before. Um, it's pretty simple to be completely honest. So we're going to start off with going to the top. I'm actually going to move the zoom out to 75% so you can see the whole thing occur. Um, and then we're just going to start off by making the, um, America's election HQ at the beginning. So I'm not going to really be including, um, the timetable. You can keep that in if you want, but I didn't in my other video. So first of all, we're going to want to keep it the same color. So we're going to get the same red and keep it up there. So it looks similar to the Fox news theme. Just make sure it's a little bit um, good. Now you're going to want to surround it with a border that's um, essentially a white border because the background's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to make this a whiter border. Um, we're just going to make it white. And now for the background, we're going to want to make this a gradient fill. And we're going to make it go to the side. So one side will be red. Actually, it should be the other way around. One side will be blue, and the right side will be red. See, we can see it's a little bit of a darker blue, so we're going to want to just go down to the darker blue right over there. That's perfect. For the red, it was a little bit darker red. We're just going to go down there. And now it has that perfect um, blue, red gradient meeting with purple in the middle. And now we have the um, background. So now we're going to find, we're going to bring text up here. We're going to make the right size font, probably 54. That's good. Make it white, of course. Um, I'm going to line it to the left so we can actually type in it. So we're going to do Americas. And then, as you can see, that's there. Right, find the right font. That's one of the biggest things you need to do if we're, you're going to make an America's Election HQ. That looks pretty good. Um, looks pretty similar. Um, I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be going over it that much. Um, I kept it just as this font before. It looked pretty good. Um, that's a little too big. We're going to want to make that 64 font. There we go. Um, so now we have Americas. Actually, I feel like this should be a little bit of a lighter red, to be honest, like something like that. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go into the Election HQ part. So just make another rectangle, per se, where it's about the same size. Stretch it out. Um, and then we're going to type in Election HQ. Same font as before that you used for the Americas because it is the same font. Um, I'm going to use Nexa Bold. That's the one I use. And then... Um, I can't really find a font that can perfect the queue the same way. Um, oops, why did, how did that happen? Okay, so now we have the election HQ. We're going to want to make the background blue. No, no, sorry. We're going to make the background white. We're going to make the text blue. And then we have that. Now we're going to stretch this out just a little bit so we can include the stars. Find a star, um, essentially find a star that you can use. Um, since we're in Keynote, we can always just use the one that's provided for us. Again, we have that. Boom. Perfect. Um, just move it up just a little bit. And then make sure it's the same color. Actually, I want to make it a little bit smaller. And then bring it up. Uh, down a little. Just trying to perfect it. It's not that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then, of course, and there we have the America's Election HQ. And then if you really want to go into like making the time periods, I would just do 7 o'clock p.m. Something like that. And then move everything over so it can just work together. Just move. Oops. Nope. Nope. No. Get that. I hate that. Oh, God. So we're going to select the star in the election screen and just move it. Move it over. There we go. So the 7 p.m. America's election HQ, 7 p.m. You can always just get rid of the PM and then just add that. Move to the side. There you go. Um, and then we're going to go into the projection part. So. For this sake, we're going to be using um, Trump and Clinton again. So actually, we didn't include the Florida. Um, we're going to use Florida as an example for this one. Um, and then we're going to just make it smaller, something like the actual thing. Bring it all the way over, whatever size. Make it a lighter red than the one before. Not that light. Nope. <laughs> Oops, I don't know why I did that. Okay, not that light. Something, something like that. And then, again, surround the border with white. Maybe just move it up a little so the white blends in with each other. Um, and there we go. 
and then America's Election HQ, you're going to want to bring in um, another smaller rectangle so you can put President there. And then we're going to need space for um, the actual 95% reporting. We're going to copy and paste the font so the font's just there, and then we just type in President. We're going to want to make the font a tad smaller so you can see it. And this is a black font. There we go. President is there. Um, and then just copy and paste this, make a smaller version of the font. Maybe 34. Yeah, that would be good. Or we can type in Florida. Um, since it's a little bit silverish, I'm going to make it silver. Um, and then we're going to copy and paste that. The number of precincts reporting, 95%. There we go. And then now we have that. Florida could be a tad bigger, just so it fills in well enough. Um, and then we have Florida, and then we're going to make the just called. Um, essentially, the way you want to do this is just to use a gradient tool again. Um, just so you can do it. Um, if you don't have a gradient tool, just use something like a red background. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to use the gradient tool and make sure it's angled upwards, not that, 90 degrees. Um, and then make that black, something like that. And then we're going to, again, copy and paste the same font in, just on this, we're going to see just called. Um, actually, I don't know if the just called works with that font. You can find a better font. I'm going to try something different. But yeah, something like that right there. The just called. Um, and then we're going to make it like yellow. Um, you can make a different, yeah, that type of yellow. Um, I don't know if this is, is this centered? Yeah, it's centered. Um, is it? I don't think it is actually. You can move it up a tad. There we go. Now it's centered. Um, and then we're going to bring in the candidates. So move to the side again. I may, I might make a part one and two for this. I don't know if I should or shouldn't, um, but it depends. So we're gonna fill this in as white. Have a border of um, gray. We're not that there. Should be a darker gray, I guess. Something like that. And then we're gonna bring in the D shape so we can have the actual. Democrat logo there, not Democrat logo, Democrat symbol, um, something like that, make it a little bit bigger, oops, not that big, and then move it over, then we're going to type in D, make it big enough so it's recognizable, and then we're going to make the background um, darker, I'm going to make sure this actually, yeah, there it is, that's perfect, the background's a little bit darker, maybe we should make it somewhat more bluish per se, I guess, something like that. And then we have, again, copy and paste in the same font. Um, we're going to type in Clinton. Um, I can't really italicize this. I don't think it lets me. Yeah, it doesn't. So you don't really need that. Um, we're going to make this a little bit bigger so it fills in more. Um, you can bring this over to the side, something like that. And then we're going to copy and paste this over the Trump. So we're going to copy and paste this over. And then we're going to bring in Trump over here. So Trump. And copy and paste this. Move this way. Boom. Type in R. And then just change the color, of course. Normal. So like that. Boom. We're done. Um, and then now it's just including the candidates and the percentages. Actually, we need to include the electoral vote, so we're just going to make a smaller version of what we did for the just called. And then we're just going to flip the gradient. And that's what occurred before. Like that. Um, actually, on this one, I think I actually did it backwards, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter if you're just going for something that looks like it. And then we're going to go to the electoral votes. Again, make something small. Electoral votes, you're going to want to make sure it's centered in the middle. I'm going to make this that color a black, sorry, a red, no, not a red, a white font, and then change the color to, I just change, copy and paste, and then make a number of 29 using the new font. So we put 29 here, there we go. Um, that doesn't look the best, so we're going to try to use an extra bold, so it's like similar. Um, there we go. Move it down a notch. There we go. Um, and now we just need to include the candidates and the big numbers. So we'll start off with the big numbers. Um, 
47.7% for statistics reporting. The other ones were so much simpler than this because they didn't include um, numbers like this. If you're starting off your election channel, do not do not do what I'm doing. Do not use this theme. It's not something that will be beneficial to you. You're just going to be wasting time putting in like literally numbers that you're going to have to correlate with the time period. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Trust me. 49.2% perfect. Um, we'll make this maybe 100 font, to be honest, because it doesn't need to be that big. 100. So you're, you're never really going to find a perfect font for this. We could possibly, let me see if that would work. I guess, yeah. We'll use that font. Adobe Gothic S STD. Did that say STD? Mm, bad name. Um, so I don't know if we are really going to find a better font for this. No, that's the Hillary Clinton font. Mm, no, we'll just stick with this one. I guess it's uh, it's kind of irking me though because I'm like, oh, that doesn't look good. Um, next, it rolled. Bring that one back up. Maybe we could try. I'll try that one. It's it's not that serious. Trust me. No one's actually gonna be like, oh wow, your font looks so stupid. It's just it's just a personal preference for me. Now we're good. Now we need to just go find some pictures of Hillary Clinton. PNG like we normal normally do. Again, we're just gonna choose the iconic one, I guess. That's the one I chose before, um, and that's the exact one Fox News chose. Wow, great minds think alike. I'm just kidding. Okay, um, uh, where would this go? Something right there. And bring this one forward. Um, and now we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Put it in the background again. Um, it has pretty much a a black um, gradient going down here. Maybe it's just, I'm just going to make this a little bit darker so it looks nicer. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I guess it's good. And then we're going to go find a picture of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, PNG, same thing. Um, which picture did they use? I can't find that. I won't be able to find that. Um, we could use... Mm, I don't really like all of these photos of Trump. They don't choose good photos to make PNGs out of. They make them look stupid. Um, send to the back. Get rid of the, this thing over here. So tell me how that looks compared to the actual. You, there's the Fox News alert that you can always add at the bottom if you want. Um, it's not something that I would add personally. But um, actually, we need a projection. I forgot. So we're actually going to bring this back in. Take a look at the projection to see what we should do. I'm going to edit the mask here so just the projection is in on it. To right there, done. And let's see how the projection looks. So we're gonna need a a circle. No, sorry, circle. I'm done. Um, we're gonna need a square. So we're gonna constrain the proportion. Go down there. Put it right here. It needs a white border. White. It needs to be a very thin border, and the color fill needs to be black. There we go. Now we can type in. That's a very that's a very common check mark. That picture is like that check mark right there. It's like the first thing that comes up when you type in yellow check mark. It may be a little bit different, but it's very similar. So, is that what Fox News did? Maybe that should be a new conspiracy theory. Just them taking pictures off the internet for their own projections. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Donald Trump protected winner of Florida. The same thing right there. You can see. And then now we're going to make the too close to call. Pretty much you can copy and paste the slide over. I don't know why I did that. You can copy and paste the slide over. Just get rid of the just called and the check mark. It's that simple. And then just move a couple things up. Honestly, a lot of these themes are very repetitive. You can just copy and paste the slide, change the title. Oops, that's better. Um, and then as you can see, there's no background. Actually, they don't have the just called there. So they just leave it there. They just leave it in the middle. I don't know why it looks bad. Um, but, yeah, so uh, maybe I should just move it up just a little so it looks nicer. This up just a little. Bring this over. There we go. Um, and we're going to say that this one they're calling Pennsylvania, so we'll just type in Pennsylvania, and then 20 electoral votes, and then right now 47.6, 48.9, 48.9, 48 there you go. It's the same thing, 67% reporting. Um, that probably was like 2.33 a.m., considering that that's when it was, 33 a.m., I guess. We're going to put like 14 or whatever, random number. That's fine. And then there we have the too close to call, essentially. Um, I don't know why it doesn't say too close to call, but 
usually it says too close to call, but this time it didn't, I guess. And now we're just going to make the electoral map. So we're going to want to copy and paste the Clinton and Trump things over. So we have those ready. We're going to move them to the top. Honestly, um, it's going to look a little bit different. So we're going to move this over here. Make this a tad bit smaller. Okay, and then we're going to make the background. There's no, there's no border. We're going to make this blue. Make the font. It's kind of like goldish. I think they have that color right here. Clinton, Clinton, um, Clinton. I don't know why they didn't capitalize their names. Now we can actually just copy and paste this over. Up there. Trump. And then change the background to another black. And no, sorry, red. Um, actually, it did have a border. My bad. White border. Um, but since we have... Oops. Nope. Not that. Okay, there we go. And the background was really just a picture, so we're just going to put a gray background. Um, and then at the bottom it said 270 to win in that font, so we're going to make this move this down here. 270 to, to win. 40 font. Good. Um, and then it had a little bar chart thing, I guess, um, like one of the those things you see on video games, like the energy bars, I guess. Um, I'm going to copy this one over. There we go. Now these were white. These were both white. I'm going to change it to white and just copy and paste. And there was a like filling up to 270. So 139, 140, nearing 278. Not nearing 270. We're actually just going to randomly select. We're going to make these equal in size. Make this one blue and then there we go um let's see so we have that we have that now for the 139 electoral votes again 270 to win is there let's say she had 93 electoral votes i don't know if that was the exact amount this should be like 135 93 111 one. nope that doesn't look good 127 and then for the electoral votes um this was bigger so it was brought down just a little bit Honestly, if you want, you can include the candidate's pictures right here just to make it look better. Um, and then we're going to type in, we're just going to copy and paste this over. It says electoral vote, so you can just make it a little bit bigger. Nope, 40 font, 39, 38, I guess. Electoral votes. Boom, boom. Um, now for the biggest part of the thing, the map. Go over to Google Chrome, go to mapchart.net. And scroll down. I'm going to want to take a picture of the United States right here. Um, fill in random states. So. Mm, I covered some poll closings that haven't closed yet, like Louisiana and Arkansas, but it's fine. Um, Florida, I guess. Nope. Why did I do that? Um, Maryland. These were just called. This is the 8 p.m. poll closings. Vermont would have been called. I would just call Virginia. Um, and then, yeah, so we're done. Um, and then we're going to want to convert it to an image. We're going to want to convert it to a PNG. Let's see if it saved. Let's see if it worked. Mm, didn't work that well. Oh, well. Let's see. How can we... I'm not exactly sure what type... How you gonna, how you can save it as a, as a PNG. Um, save image as. It should save automatically as a PNG. Done. Okay, oh well. Um, if you really want, you can just take a picture off the internet and fill it in respectively using paint.net. I don't have paint.net, so it's not something I regularly use. So I guess it, it doesn't look that good. Um, if you can find a tool that can make a PNG file for the respective state calls, you can always do that. Or you can just save yourself the trouble and make the background red, white, sorry, and make the bars like, like this, I guess gray font if you want um or dark gray font or something noticeable something like that so you can save yourself the trouble honestly um it's not that serious it looks the same people get the same information um all it is is just showing a little bit different than everything else so that's the end of this video um these are the comparison to the actual projection um comment down below if you want more projections and what what news networks um i'm thinking about doing msnbc next but if you guys want me to do a different one comment that down below 
Um, by the way, if you guys have any themes that you want to be publicized, just comment them down below. Um, they are really nice. I've seen a lot of your guys' themes, and they look a lot better than mine. So that's pr that's pretty good. I mean, that's that inspires me to make um, more themes. So final recap of this video: Fox News projection, um, Fox News too close to call, and Fox News electoral map. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.